Welcome in everyone, Jim Furchwin here and this is your 2021 Felician Men's Basketball Season Preview. Last year Felician fell just short to the Jefferson Rams at the buzzer by a score of 63-60 to in the conference quarterfinals. Therefore, Felician ending their season at 13-15, 11-8 in conference play. That's fourth in the North Division. However, head coach Ivan Lewis in his sixth season looking on to 2021 with a completely different roster. A massive overhaul. Seven players who have departed along with six returning players and four new faces. Those seven players that departed were Chris Garcia, Jeff Lewis, Jared Pearson, Rashid Chimu, and Zamir Wright. One player who also transferred, that was Jay Von Jackson, the sharpshooter. Uh, he is now a member of Campbellsville University, an NAI school down in Kentucky. And Josiah Basket, also not playing this year on his decision just to sit out, arguably Felician's best three-point shooter last season. Uh, the returning players that will be key are Nas Amos along with Jalen Cologne and D.N. McCray. Players likely to come off the bench are Jahid Jenkins, Dacre Padrino, and Omar Ramos. Along with four new faces, three players from JUCO and one from Division I, you got Justin Davis, Ibuka Nagbu, Aitnik Pechi, along with Basel Saliba Jr. Since we're talking about these new faces, let's get to know them a little more. So Justin Davis... He is a 6'4 guard, 200 pounds out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Played one year of community college ball down at Kilgore in Texas. Uh, Lewis likes him because he can fill in for Javon's role. He is versatile at the 3 and 4 spot. Lewis also says that the 4 spot down uh, in this conference will be an X factor this year. So watch out for Davis to see what he does being that versatile player that Lewis is looking for. Then uh, Ibuka Nagu, a 6'7", 240-pounder out of Niagara Falls, New York. He also played his community college ball down in Texas, this time only at Frank Phillips. He can assist D.N. McCray on the rebounding side, along with be a body down low, preventing easy layups. Um, also, Lewis likes that he moves well for his his weight, and he can possibly be a starter down the road depending on how he gels in practice and his chemistry with the players on and off the court. Then you're adding a international player, Aitnik Pechi out of Priskina Kosovo, which is on the western side of the world around North Macedonia. He was a transfer from Essex County Community College in Jersey where he was the GSAC Conference Player of the Year averaging 20 points and 4 assists per game. Now with the departures of Jeff Lewis and Zamir Wright, this guy can create his own shot and get to the basket at will which is only a positive uh, factor for Felician. And then you add Basel Saliba Jr. He played two years of college ball at Fairleigh Dickinson in Jersey, a Division I level school. He's from Hackensack, New Jersey as well, a native. And he's 6'1", 190, can get to the basket at will. Uh, a very good free throw shooter, and he can shoot the ball from the, per at, from the perimeter at a very good rate. Uh, looking at the players that will be key coming back, uh, Nas Amos, who wore number zero, is wearing number two this year, a 5'8 guard out of Newark. He averaged just a little over six points per game last season. He had a career-high 15 points at post. Him going into his sophomore year looked to get a lot more minutes after five seniors did depart. Now Jalen Colon, who did have a substantial amount of minutes last year, improved scoring. He was a tremendous facilitator in his freshman campaign with 142 assists, had 97 last year, therefore putting him with 239 all-time in just two years, going into his third, already seventh in, the, in assists for the school record. He had 12 assists twice uh, last year in two games. So watch out for him to be a playmaker as well as orchestrate the offense and possibly score a little more as well. And then you're bringing back D.N. McCray. 10.7 points last year alone, 6.3 boards. Then Ibuka Nabu will help him down low. Uh, not just only him doing the dirty work, Nabu will be a force down low, helping him with rebounds and uh, not letting e any easy buckets in the paint. Uh, so those are your key players. The schedule this year is 
drastically different. You only have 10 games along with only 7 schools that are playing this year. So half the conference has withdrawn due to COVID-19. Those schools are Jefferson, U Sciences, Holy Family, Goldie Beacom, Chestnut Hill, Post, and Wilmington. All not playing, so the conference is definitely up for grabs, and it's going to be a dogfight to see who wants to be uh, going to early March to play in that CICC title game. So Felician's schedule looks like this. They have 10 games, 5 at home, 5 on the road. They'll start on January 28th versus Caldwell at 3 p.m., then February 2nd on Tuesday at Bloomfield at 6 p.m., February 4th on Thursday also on the road at Georgian Court at 5 p.m., then on Saturday at February 6th they'll host Nyack at 1 February 9th, Tuesday versus Concordia at 3 p.m. February 13th on Saturday at Dominican at 1 p.m. February 16th on Tuesday, home against Bloomfield at 3 p.m. February 20th on Saturday at Concordia at noon. February 23rd, Tuesday at Caldwell at 6 p.m. And February 25th, Thursday versus Dominican at 3 p.m. I will be doing all the home games for the men and the women on the CAC network. I'm so excited to bring you guys the action. I'm Jim Furchland, and that is your 2021 Felician men's basketball season preview.